Hand Arm Vibration, HAV. Repeatedly using vibrating equipment such as jackhammers, breakers, grinders, scablers or drills causes your hands, arms and possibly other parts of your body to shake, which is known as hand arm vibration. You may have experienced its effects before without even realizing what it was. For instance, ever felt a tingling sensation, numbness or feeling as if your hands and arms were still shaking after using a power tool for a long time? This tingling or numb sensation usually disappears after a short while. However, it is an early symptom and warning sign that if you continue to use the equipment or machinery for long periods of time, you could get hand-arm vibration syndrome. Exposure to high-frequency vibration is so dangerous because the vibrations damage the nerves and blood vessels in your fingers, hands and arms. A further symptom of hand-arm vibration syndrome is when you start to experience more frequent symptoms that involve a loss of color and feeling in your fingers. This is then followed by a red flush and throbbing sensation, which signals a return of blood into your hands or fingers. This usually happens after prolonged exposure to vibration. People with severe cases of hand-arm vibration syndrome experience worse attacks especially in colder weather that could last an hour. These attacks also become painful for the person, who may also experience a loss of usability, dexterity or strength in their hands. This becomes extremely unpleasant as it weakens your ability to grip objects. There have also been reports of people losing fingers. As with the case of so many illnesses and conditions, prevention is always better than cure. Hand-arm vibration syndrome is no different as it is extremely difficult to treat. In most cases, you can only be taught how to deal with its symptoms. But things you have control over are the following. Prevention Knowing if you are being overexposed to vibration is the first and most important step to prevention. By wearing special equipment such as haveware, you can monitor exactly what your exposure is and then take the necessary precautions to minimize it. Make sure whatever equipment or machinery you are using that causes vibrations is in good condition and that you use it correctly. This includes making sure drill bits are sharp, grinding discs are not damaged, etc. Loosening your grip slightly, but not too much that it becomes dangerous, can also help in reducing some felt vibrations. Every tool has its own individual vibration output. Your supervisor must inform you of your maximum daily usage of the tool. Take regular breaks from using vibrating equipment or rotate between tasks with other workers if possible. Finally, if you think or know you are being overexposed to vibration or experience any symptoms of hand-arm vibration syndrome, tell your supervisor about it before it gets any worse. So look out for the following symptoms and don't forget to report them. A tingling, numbness or shaky feeling in your hands or fingers. Loss of color in your hands, followed by a red rush. Painful attacks that leave your hands weak. By being aware, we can look after our most important tools.